I'm Lee Huibai uh, from uh, uh, NITA Laboratory, Tohoku University. And uh, my talk here uh, may be a slightly different from all the other talks. I uh, hope you can get something from my talk. And uh, I'd like to show you a spin wave device here and uh, with uh, all electrical ex uh, excitation, manipulation, and the detection of spin wave in a pomeroy strip. My talk will include four parts. Uh, introduction, sample and uh, experiment configuration, and the experiment result discussion, and uh, finally a uh, conclusion. Uh, first, to begin, our uh, spin net dynamics properties have been uh, developed uh, half, more than half century, but uh, recently uh, it's uh, kind of important uh, when uh, spin dynamics in a confinement structures uh, because of the potential applications, for example, MRAM. And here I want to talk about the spin wave in a confinement structures. And uh, spin wave, as we all know, uh, is uh, uh, a propagating angular momentum. And uh, which can be used as a as an information carrier, and uh, um, it it also has been studied, uh, and also lots of technique developed to um, to to um, study this uh, uh, spin wave. For example, excitation by microwave, and we can use it as a microwave cavity, and uh, uh, also using the coplanar wave guide, and the manipulated that can be used a uh, local magnetic field, and uh, also detected that can be used a uh, vector network analysis, and uh, there's a lot of uh, optical wave, for example, blue scattering, and uh, uh, time resolved uh, curl rotation is a good way to study uh, uh, to detect a spin wave. Then this work here, I will show you uh, yeah, the purpose of this work. I developed a new electrical way to uh, make a spin wave device. And uh, as, when we're talking about device, we're always comparing, you can compare it with the electrical device. This is FET with the three terminal, uh, yeah, a, a two dimensional electron gas channel with the three terminals, source, gate, and uh, a drain. And uh, yeah, comparing with that, we also need a spin wave uh, view guide here. And uh, we also need the three terminals, that means the excitation, manipulation, and the detection here. And uh, my excitation will, uh, spin wave will be excited by microwave through a, a well-designed coplanar wave guide, we call it a CPW, and uh, manipulated by a local inhomogeneous magnetic field, which induced by a, a DC current applied across uh, over the um, wave guide. And the spin view view guide, and uh, also detected uh, by voltage or resistance on the basis of uh, on the basis of spin rectification effect here. I need uh, maybe I need to spend a little bit time to introduce uh, the spin rectification effect is a, in a very simple way. It's like this: spin we always can write in this way. It's a, a magnetization precession with a frequency. And uh, we know in ferromagnetic materials we have another important property that we call it uh, an austropic magnetic re uh, resistance. So that means the resistance of this material is depends on the orientation of the magnetization. And uh, such a spin wave will means the magnetization is keep well, orientation is keep changing with the frequency omega. That means uh, based on the AMI effect. Spin wave induced a resistance change with the frequency of omega, and we, I think, we all familiar with this uh, uh, formula. Is a two uh, two period signal product each other, and we can we can get a time independent part. This is, this is what we call rectification. So, in a material, in a ferromagnetic material. We have a resistance change due to the spin, uh, due to the spin wave, and uh, which coupling with the microwave current. This is induced by the microwave E field, and uh, we get uh, here is a resistance. Here is a current period. Uh, have this, both of them have the same period, same frequency. By time average, we get a time independent voltage. And also, according, uh, uh, considering the second harmonica effect, uh, the period resistance 
can, by time average, we get a resistance. Both of them, voltage and the resistance, are related to the microwave, uh, related to the spin wave, so we can use them to detect the spin wave. This is the why, uh, how we can detect the spin wave in an electrical wave. This is a sample, and uh, this is a long Pomeroy strip designed uh, as a spin wave waveguide. And uh, the vertical part is the CPW structure marked as ground signal ground. Uh, and there's a side view, we can see Pomeroy is covered by silicon, uh, silicon oxide, and, uh, and this uh, silicon dioxide. This layer is uh, keep the Pomeroy insulated from the top structure, the high frequency structure, and we can excite the spin wave here by the CPW, through the CPW by microwave, and uh, we expected the spin wave can propagate along the uh, Pomeroy strip. And then we can detect it through the, there's a several props. And there's a configuration here, we apply external magnetic field in plan, almost parallel to the external to the, to the strip. And here, uh, by excited here and also detected here, we can get the voltage and also resistance. We get the resonance peaks. And uh, these peaks, uh, we, this, these peaks get uh, uh, the frequency 2.7 gigahertz and we also can plot these peaks as a function of frequency. We get the dispersion curve, which can be well fitted by dispersion of spin wave. And uh, by the line width, uh, the, the width of the yeah, line ship, we can get the, uh, the gilbert damping of this system, uh, the, view guide, uh, the spin view, view guide system is uh, here, my sample is 2.1%, the gilbert damping equal to 2.1%. And uh, here we show the manipulation here, and by, uh, we detect, excited the spin view here and the detector uh, here, and then between them, we apply the external magnetic, uh, apply the uh, DC current cross over this uh, palm law uh, from top. We, according to the Biosafa law, we all know there's a, uh, there's a local magnetic field induced. And this local magnetic field induced uh, could uh, reduce this amplitude of spin wave here. And we also find that the resonance position doesn't change. Uh, thus, we can roll out the effect of heating. And also, uh, the external magnetic field doesn't shift. Then, we can draw a conclusion. We manipulate this uh, spin wave by a uh, uh, DC current. Yeah, after this, we already show you uh, we how to excite the spin wave and how to detect it uh, by voltage, by resistance, and how to manipulate. That's we finish uh, a spin uh, wave device. And uh, also, we, here I plot the amplitude as a function of the DC current applied here. And we see, okay, this uh, amplitude doesn't go to zero. We estimate there's two reasons. One is the DC current we applied is not high enough. Another reason is that there's a microwave uh, leaking, leaky problem. <laughs> and uh, we confirmed that. We uh, published the two sample, and uh, we screened this part with them. Uh, yeah, this part, uh, we have a two sample. The difference is that uh, Sample A, we don't have a, such a, uh, and this area, we don't have a, a gold metal on the top, but in sample B, we covered this area with gold, and then we can use it as a screen layer. And then we, uh, we also know that photo voltage is proportional to M plus J, and this JZ is uh, the microwave current. That means for the, with this voltage also can be used the microwave current detector. And we can find, once we cover this range, the signal is suppressed. That means uh, oh, by this current, uh, this, by this uh, screen layer, we uh, suppress the microwave leaking, the non-local excitation here. 
And also, we detect both in sample B with the screen layer, we detect the uh, signal, spin wave signal by uh, resistance. Okay, we can see uh, this is a, a resistance and uh, also the local part. And uh, according to the, yeah, this formula, and we uh, estimate the spin wave de uh, decay length is around 70, uh, 73 micrometer. This could be our estimate because we, um, there's a still a uh, tiny leaking problem. We get, uh, okay, there's a peak. Okay, concluding, and uh, in this, this work, I show you we had successfully uh, excited and manipulated and detected the spin wave in all electrical waves. And also, there's a technical problem is spin wave, microwave leaking. Yeah. Thank you, that's all.